टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ओपन अपेक्स केसेस बाय रीवेस्कुलराइजेशन एज इट इज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इन केस ऑफ इमेच्योर परमानेंट टीथ विद नेक्रोटिक पल्प एंड शॉर्ट एंड थिन रूट्स रीवेस्कुलराइजेशन शुड बी द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस टुडे आई ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन द रीवेस्कुलराइजेशन प्रोसीजर इन ब्रीफ After the root canal access, a thorough irrigation is required before instrumentation. Irrigation of choice is 0.5 percent sodium hypochlorite. High concentration of hypochlorite can damage periapical tissues, and there is no as there is no apical stop. 2 percent chlorhydridine can be used for irrigation, but till today there is no substitute to sodium hypochlorite. Side vent needles are beneficial as they can avoid hypo accident. an approximate idea of tooth length on preoperative radiograph is also helpful then coming to working length paper point should be used to measure working length in immature teeth as there is no apical constriction apex locator will give you false reading place a large size paper point in canal to an approximate length as per the preoperative radiograph then take it out and look for wet tip or blood on the tip of paper point if it is so then reduce the length and again place the paper point in canal the final working length will be that when the dry paper point come out note down that and do preparation accordingly as in open apex cases even 80 number k file is loose at apex canal preparation is challenging most of the canal debridement is done by irrigants and medicaments but circumferential filing with large size h file help in removing a bit of necrotic dentinal debris from the canal but it should be done very gently as roots are very thin copious irrigation is the key for good cleaning in such cases now coming to choice of medicament calcium hydroxide is gold standard but it cannot be used when revascularization is choice of treatment because calcium hydroxide causes necrosis of vital tissues and this can impair regeneration at a later stage so the other option is triple antibiotic paste powder of ofloxacin or nidazole and doxycycline should be mixed with saline and this paste can be placed in canal for a week in next visit you will wet the canal disinfection first put a paper point and check canal is dry or wet then check for any foul smell from the canal if sinus was present before treatment that is healed or not if you found the canal dis infection satisfactory and patient is symptom free then you can start the revascularization procedure otherwise give triple antibiotic paste for another week after copious irrigation now coming to revascularization procedure first give local anesthesia then irrigate the canal well and then dry the canal with sterile paper points now take a sterile needle and place it in canal 1 to 2 mm beyond the working length it will induce bleeding in root canal you can do it once again if blood didn't come out in the canal once the blood is visible in the canal place a moist cotton with light pressure in canal to control the bleeding and to facilitate the clot formation keep cotton there for a minute once the clot formation is there then you can seal the canal orifice with mineral trioxide aggregate that is mta or biodentin after 48 hours composite build up can be done for better outcome platelet rich fibrin can be placed in the canal after clot formation or in some article it says that there is no need to puncture the apical area to induce bleeding if prf is planned for the revascularization thank you